Today I want to talk a little bit about moving my second year ancient history class from a frontal style classroom to a peer-to-peer -peer learning classroom. This course is called Early Greece from Troy to Marathon and it's a course that I inherited. Uh, I'll link in the description box below to an abbreviated syllabus that includes my amendments to the class. This is a 10 week course and the first four weeks were conducted as normal frontal style integrated lectures. That is over the two hours we spent a little bit of time me talking through the material um, in a regular lecture style environment and a little bit of time doing what we would normally do in webinars, reading the text, going through articles, analysing uh, the historical context, all of that good stuff. But what I wanted to do with this class is move them to a style where they were much more in control of the material that we covered. This class doesn't have an exam, it's assessed by two essays. And I thought that this would be a really good opportunity to teach them some broader skills about research, about critical analysis, about critical engagement with the material. Up until this point, they've done relatively little archaic specific Greek history. In intro to ancient history, uh, we do a little bit of archaic history, but sort of go straight on to classical Greek history, Near Eastern history, and on from there. So this is the first chance that they have to engage with the fact that we don't really have any idea what's going on. We have evidence, we have artistic evidence and literary evidence and material evidence, but we need to figure out a way to put all those things together. So really the aim behind moving to a complete peer-to-peer, student-led, student-centred classroom is so that they can get their heads around that in an environment that they feel that they can control. So what we've done so far is the four frontal lecture seminar style classes and one instructor-led workshop. So that was a workshop led by me uh, in which they prepared a whole pile of material um, and you can see from the abbreviated syllabus all of the material that I require them to read beforehand and then I posed a question to them and that was what is the place of written law in fledgling democracy and went put them into three groups uh, and wanted each group to construct a mini lecture style presentation of an introduction to the problem, a textual analysis, and a concluding section that fit this topic into a broader context of not only what we've already covered in the class, but what they have done previously in their degrees. And then each group had to present one of these sections at the end which were randomly assigned. What went well? Um, I felt really happy with the discussion that the groups had. I went around and spent considerable time with each of the groups individually, fed them some hints and clues and tips and, and pointed them in the right direction when they were veering off. And they all really engaged in a critical and intelligent way with the texts that we were reading and also with the scholarship um, that they had been assigned to read. The presentations actually were very good. They were thorough and clear. They presented well. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems that they had is they presented to me rather than to their peers, which I'm hoping as we move on, they'll get more used to the idea of presenting to their peers. What didn't go so well? They said that it made them really stressed. Um, the classes, the groups all said that 
uh, they were they didn't feel prepared for this kind of class even though we had talked about it previously I think that they just had no idea what to expect one student later said that it was just so different from what they normally do that kind of it was a shock to the system so we are doing one more fully instructor led workshop which is next week um, and instead of just kind of launching into it instead I'm going to provide in addition to the readings also some prompt questions which we will take the discussion from so that they can read in a more targeted way and think about how they should read through both the scholarship and the primary source material. What I'm hoping will happen is we will be able to move to a system of complete peer-to-peer -peer learning in which they are choosing the readings, they are assigning readings to their classmates, they are conducting the classes and coming up with the questions. Obviously with a lot of input from me, a lot of guidance. And what I'm hoping is that all of their second essays will come out of this period of discovery and research and enjoyment and excitement, hopefully. Um, and that they will really get a sense of what doing research is like. I think that this is a really important thing, uh, particularly for second years who are, I know some of them are starting now to think about whether they're going to do a dissertation in third year. So having a chance to do some sort of on the ground research as it were, might inform their decisions for that. And I also think that it's just a really great skill for them to have, to be active, involved learners. and to start thinking about themselves as scholars because they are scholars. Um, they are in the least condescending way possible toddler scholars. Um, and just like real toddlers, we have to teach them how to navigate the world, but mainly it's up to them. We give them the tools and they do the work. And that's what I'm hoping will happen. I am going to come back at the end of the term and update on how the whole course went, uh, how they found moving to a complete peer-to-peer -peer model and whether it actually worked. So I will see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.